we know what we have here and the more people who start to come in and figure out what we have going on it kind of opens their eyes right so why did Alley 26 and Kingfisher both get a James Beard nomination like we know why you gotta come here and figure it out so my name is Che Ramos I'm the owner of a small personal business called The Black Bourbon Guy. We specialize in curated whiskey tastings for groups and businesses, cocktail classes. I also do some restaurant consulting. So really anything you could ask for in the beverage sphere. When my friends and family come to town, uh, I do one of the things that I used to do when I was a single guy, which is you go to one of my favorite restaurants, you have a small plate and a drink, you finish up and you go to the next spot. And it's really one of the best ways that you can hit four or five, six, seven places in a night, depending on how greedy you are and really have a great time before you Uber home. Probably start by heading up to Alley 26. You have a James Beard nominated cocktail menu. Best cocktails in town, right? Shannon is a mentor to so many people in this industry who have gotten into cocktails. So if you want a dynamite, technically sound, very well thought out, cocktail with great bartenders and fantastic food pair with it, Alley 26 is the way to go. Then bounce across the street to Kingfisher, which has such an imaginative drink list, right? Get some of their Krupnika spice nuts and whatever zany and delicious cocktail that Sean or Casey or Michelle have on the menu over there. And it's cheesy. The ambiance down there is dark, it's hip, it's unpretentious, it's a lot of fun. Nana Steak, they're a steakhouse, but they're not just a steakhouse. They're some of the best hospitality in town. Every time I come here as a guest, they blow us away. I brought my entire family here. I've come here with my wife on date nights. Every single time we've been blown away by both the food, whether it's steak or not, and the drink program has been phenomenal since day one and continues to be one of the best in town, which surprises you for a steakhouse because innovation is not necessarily what you think of when you think of steak. So Corp Survivor is Durham Distillery's bar and uh, it starts with their product, right? It's a world-class gin. Uh, Lee and Melissa, the owners there, they have put together a phenomenal program in terms of both how they distill and their products. Seven or eight years ago when Durham Distillery opened up and I tried their Conniption American Dry and eventually their Navy Strength Gin, which is now my house gin. And I would compare that pound for pound with just about any other gin out there on the market. Everybody's favorite in North Carolina. And I think that is a great representative of Durham as a whole. You're gonna see so many of these stories continue to pop up. Uh, so I don't know that I can necessarily tell you what makes these places fantastic other than to say like you just need to get here and figure it out for yourself.